and even you that when you see content that is very positive you will not engage it it is the negative one where they are dragging people ah she have left her husband that is the one you you will click like i believe in submission i believe in mutual respect i believe in loving and caring for each other i believe in um partnership i believe in all of that i believe that man is the head of the family i believe that now being a head does not mean you have to be you know lording it over all of them it's just like two good air that we just have to put to one to be directing like submit your life to me what are you doing with my life after submitting it to you did you care so much about my life after giving it to you what did you want to do with it can i can can i trust that you will not mismanage my life you will not mismanage my submission can, are, are you built for that because it's not it's just way beyond submit 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 get out <laughs> hey guys welcome back to my channel jumi here Ola Jumoke. i am so glad to be back i hope you're doing amazing i hope everything is going well for you i hope life is treating you well if you are new to my channel you're welcome please i am begging i am on my news please <laughs> subscribe to my channel engage me support me watch and like share turn your post notification on thank you please i beg and if you're not new thank you so much for always coming back it does mean a lot to me honestly when i saw this video on was it on saturday i said no i'm going to wait to listen to the full video before i make a commentary about it right and it's this very gorgeous grandma that i came across in fact i did a video about her sometimes last week i had to delete it due to i don't have time to edit and many videos like that that i will make that would not made it to my youtube channel so i have made video about her before i couldn't you know post it due to my schedule i don't have time and so now when i saw her on the honest budget again i said yeah again so when they released this one minute clip to get people's attention i was worried why a lot of comments were just so hard okay let's put background this grandma is in her 70s a second marriage of course her first marriage did not work and then she got divorced and then she's been married now in her second marriage and she's been there for 42 years four decades of marriage second marriage second marriage 42 years i mean like okay let's go and listen can never be submissive to a man neither my six daughters submissive total bullshit i'd rather be a single woman any day proudly so i knock my chest marriage is not visa to heaven mm. why do is your wife a lap dog if you want an alsatian dog or a lap dog or a poodle that you say sit down i try as much as possible to put in 110% into my marriage. I went to a Thai restaurant for three months to learn how to cook Thai cuisine. I went to an Indian restaurant for three months to learn how to cook. And the damn man still goes out to cheat? Oh my God, it's the passion in her voice for me. And I think a lot of people are reading that passion as being someone that is not ill, someone that is still angry. Like, she left that marriage, and I think that is her first marriage that she's making reference to. Like, she did all this, I put 110% into the marriage to want to make it work, and yet the damn man still... <laughs> and you know, cheating is not a big deal to a lot of people in um, Nigeria or Africa. Let me put it that way. Some will say, don't just bring it to me. Let me not know about it. Shall I be providing for the house? It it's okay when you go make sure you come back home so there are people that it will you know be a big deal for so part of the question the host asked was so why is it that marriages nowadays are not lasting and um this is you that you've been married for four decades she's like no it's always been there and when i heard children like people that are grown like me talking about oh their parents are not together i'm like so why are people fussing about marriages ending this time like it has always been there just that there is no social media at that time to project it to make us see like a lot of atrocities were committed during the days of our parents that they would think they are they are saints no they are not saints like our oh, older generation no older generation like, imagine 
imagine older generation if they bring older generation to this very present time they will do worse did you see some grandma that will be doing <laughs> they will look like as a saint due to there is nothing to project or make us see what they are doing so really she said no my first marriage broke marriage breaks at that time too people leave this is not new just that um there is social media now that and again social media social media feeds on negative news did you see people coming to shout out good marriages it is just like some people that are very intentional say this my page will be for working marriage did you see any blog that will carry even the one that is positive they will take it and twist it and make it negative if they talk about anything that is positive there won't be there, there won't be traffic so they want traffic they want money and it is only negative and even you that when you see content that is very positive you will not engage it it is the negative one where they are dragging people ah she have left her husband that is the one you you will click like when you see one time let me digress a little bit a few weeks ago i saw the video of banky w and his wife you know where he was you know talking about how he's assisting his wife because they just had the baby and the comment there is so irritating some were like oh is it are you not supposed to really want to do it is it new i'm like we are behaving as if we don't we don't see people that they will their wife will have children they will not do anything no support nothing instead for that video to get some very positive engaging ah good job well done this should be like an example for other men that would think that when they help their wife or when they're engaging house chores or stuff like that they would think like to reduce them it is for women like this is your family your children your wife just gave birth you should be there to help so really and uh, social, social media these days do not even want to hear good news people on social media want negative news even when they hear good news they would doubt it like they lie she's lying it's just pretending they don't even want to believe the good news so really social media is adding to it so this grandma was like no it is just that there's no social media at that time i left my first marriage this is my second marriage and i know i have i i have my and a comment for that first marriage of the video that i said i deleted was oh she was very stubborn she was hot headed and the guy also they were not compatible oh my god the the comments on that, that video also people were bashing her i'm like this is someone in fact this social media is even like a place where there is no respect a gr she's in her 70s even if you want to say anything that you disagree with her about there's a way you can say it without sounding disrespectful like these people do not ah god <laughs> so let's come back to this current video i can never submit to any woman i'm like <sighs> what let me let me break it down this way like you as a man and a lot of people were having problem with that right you as a man that wants my submission what does my submission means to you what does me not submitting to you means are you worthy of someone that they will submit to before you go ahead and be asking someone must be submissive you have to submit did you have something to be submitted to are you worthy of that submission after i give it to you what do you want to do to it like because i believe that there's some people that even if you cut your head and give it to them like this it will probably be not enough or you don't do it enough and then based on i know that it is actually very unfortunate there's some generation of men and women that we have now especially millennia many people are reacting based on the relationship of their parents like i've seen my mom suffer you now expect me to come into this man and still be suffering with what did my mom get so we have women that might be reacting based on what they've seen so i'm not giving you no stupid submits if you are worthy of it you are loving me you are respecting me you're taking care of me of course so, so it is like give and take before it's supposed to just be natural cause to say submit to your husband regardless and that is what our culture have also you know made women do like is your head regardless you have to and we have women this day that are saying i'm not submitting shit if you are not worthy of it you won't get it if you want me to submit and i think that like i said it is rather unfortunate because even a man that is doing well i believe that you will not have to ask for submission before it will be given like it will flow 
in, to to each direction it will flow both ways like you are loving me naturally you know your will say one part of your proverb proverb that i like is wagba akara wagba i can't remember very well but it will flow naturally it will not be something that you will demand let's go to comment section and see how people were bashing this woman just because she said i will not submit to any man I would not say, <laughs> and then they patch up in her voice saying it. People were so mad. Let's go to comment section. The very first person said, Cheating really affects people. Now, everyone wants to blame her for going this route, but nobody wants to talk about the real cause. We only judge reactions, we never address the act that caused those reactions. Um, yeah, so when someone che- and I, I used to wonder that if you know that maybe you don't know the person that you're dealing with, deal cheating is that deal breaker. Now you cheat. If they eventually let you know that, don't do it again. You are still sneaking. When they now catch you, you are now expecting that that woman should stay. Like if you if you have the liberty to go out and cheat. You cannot control my reaction. My reaction can be like, well, it's okay. You are paying bills. I will stay. My reaction can be that I can't deal with it. And there should not be a problem with that. When you already know the, the end of a problem, like you know what the end should be. Like when I catch you cheating, it will hurt my feelings. Why are you doing it in the first place? Be honorable. You don't want me anymore or your eyes is outside. Free me. Let me go. And so that it will not be considered cheating for you. That is how me I see. Let's go to the next comment section. Someone says, coin. I know a lot of ladies, women will like what she's saying because (laughs) never ever take advice for someone who never healed what do you mean she's never healed the 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 first marriage ended long time ago she waited found the new the new husband then married for the last 42 years and i think the way she's standing in this video is so full of passion that i can never because in fact it is also from the place of my current husband that i've been with for the last 40 years is not walking around asking me for submission so it is like standing irritating to her ears to say I can't, you, you cannot be demanding it from me if you are not, because I have been with a man for the last 40 years of my life that has been proven himself to say, I can lay everything down for you. So that is the interpretation that me I'm getting. I bet you guys should post a daughter so that we can avoid them. <laughs> we are not the ones to pay for the sins of their father so they are thinking that because this woman is talking this way they are, they, they, this woman is not ill and the daughter will go ahead and then be like I said the other time that it is very unfortunate at this time that some ladies some women that is behaving to men based on what their dad did to their mom but it will be very okay to say when you realize that this is what I'm going through how can I solve it so that the next person will not be victim of what my dad did to my mom right but she talked about her children all of them are married there is no conversation of who is the head in their home according to her words so i'm not there i don't know her daughter that she had five five or six daughters that like five of them are married and they are doing fine so they don't they are not even looking for you there is no need <laughs> soon your daughters will be proudly single women if they follow your advice Her daughter are married let me see comments under that there's nothing wrong about being single better than marrying useless men this is comment though i'm not the one saying it though like your father and then some someone else <laughs> like your father you people yes it's very useless so you're right oh my god now i know where your pain comes they are just batching each other let me move on i have never seen a woman admitted she's the problem in a marriage or relationship now men always they do on a bad like there is <laughs> according to this let me see if there's any response to him who cheated Yay! I didn't see that coming. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> That's both. I like it. Let me read this comment again. I have never seen a woman admit that she's the problem in a marriage or relationship. Now men always they do on a bad. So the comment on that is like, who cheated? Is it normal? Yeah, so it's the problem. 
<laughs> and this is not to say this auntie, this grandma does not have any flaws or does not contribute to why the marriage ended in the first place. But the guy stepped out for whatever reason she he stepped out. Might be like, oh, you are not giving me in the house. But it is your decision to carry yourself outside. So yeah, you're the problem. <laughs> Even if the lady is the one that was not giving you sex, you brought yourself out. Like whatever, there will be reason why she's not even giving you sex. Like, hey, what is the problem? Did you what, what do you want me to do? I need you. You people stay, stay. Don't don't be running outside. Don't be going outside to be looking for alternatives. And at the end of the day, be expecting them to stay. No. What led to the cheating? Who pushed him away to the outside world? Do you say this? This when is the woman? Oh god, I am loving this back and forth with them. So the guy replied, I said, What led to the cheating? Who pushed him away to the outside world? Then the lady said, Do you say the same thing when it's the women? When the women stepped out to go and cheat, did you comment and say the men push her out? Will you make that excuse to say it's the men that push the woman out to go and cheat? You people be using your sense now. When it is the when it is the men, oh the women push him out. But when it is the women, oh onuri ya onuri oshini, you have husband and you are going outside. But when it is the men, it's not like oh you have. Wife, you're going outside. It's just like the women. Oh, come on, clap for yourself. So, someone says, Our life, our choice. Once it gets your turn, become a slave, not anyone's business. Do what makes you happy because this lady is talking about what she's been through for almost 50 years. Because now she's been married, her second marriage is like 42 years. 50 years ago, the way you can tell that she has a very strong personality, and people that have strong personality they can come across as if like they are very domineering. I mean, there is a partner for everyone. There are some people that are very calm, they will find their person. There are some people that you know they take space wherever they go they will find their person too and that's okay when as this lady said when it's your turn please be taking anything they are dashing you so heartbreak trauma is as old as human civilization it can make someone not only imprison himself but also imprison others this woman is speaking from a pain that has been bolted for years in fact that pain has become a landmark for her i pray she heal for me i don't think she did not heal i see someone talking about like if i want to talk about what has happened to me in the last 10 years my voice might not be this strong i can in fact in my own case if it's been that long i will be talking about it and i'll be laughing <laughs> like it will be surprising me how i was able to go through it that laugh is just like hmm. so it will not be maybe i won't say she, i still will not say that because we're different the way I will talk about what has happened to me in the past and the way someone else will talk about it. At least from her story, she's been with another man for the last 40 something years. Until that man come out to say, you people don't take this woman seriously. So for the last that 42 years, it's been hell. And if that man did not say that. So that means she's been able to move on to function well in her next relationship, which has lasted for the last 42 years. So I wouldn't say. And again, it's like, a, like, did you guys know what it means? Like, I married you. I love you. Now you cheat on me. It is... It, it's a lot. But I mean, it's been a long time. But talking about it might be like opening a wound. So how people will talk about that will be very... And because someone is talking about it this way doesn't make it... I don't know. Someone say, oh, I love her. <laughs> Marriage is not a visa to heaven. I, and this is one of the things I don't understand about Christianity. I am sorry. Why we carry marriage as see like, yeah. No, what is if we left what is so important, like how we treat ourselves, how we should be kind to each other, how should we should, you know, love ourselves, be kind, the fruit of the spirit, all those things that affect our life in daily basis. But we're just so emphasizing. You know, you cannot make a mistake if you have married once like this. You carry your cross. You are is marriage. Is marriage? No, marriage is not even as important as that. In my own case, now in my big age, this is what I'm saying. Like marriage is not all that. Like if you have it and it's working for you, it can be considered all that. But if you have it and you are really crying every day, it is not worth crying every day for. It is not worth praying to sustain. It is not worth losing your life for it is not that much you know in fact there's another thing that she said that i love that she doesn't have so much expectation of 
of her children like she's so liberal like in such a way that whatever job you want to do is your business you want to marry white you want to marry brown you want to marry blue we are not imposing our beliefs on our children so this our mindset i believe is for her uh not so, I, people are just so negative like you cannot see something and bring out the good in it they will be touch lighting it which one can i this i will consider this lady as a very someone with a very strong personality not really to just describe this but this thing that she's talking about happened years ago years ago years like a long time ago so really that does not define her they're just asking her question to say i will sub submission you know maybe i should do another video on submission because submission is not something that i will give you yet you are dragging me on the floor yet i cannot get a very sim simple respect from you i cannot get any care for you so why am i laying my life down to you why am I giving all those submissions to you if I cannot get anything back? And that is the problem that people are having. Like, you cannot just be shouting and be crying for submission if you are not ready, you know, to love back, to care for back, that you will be running around and be, and be cheating, yet you will come on to be asking for for submission. No. Then, there are many things that she also talked about that I didn't mention, but my own focus is just about this submission, right? Because really... The way men are reacting to it i don't know maybe men and women we have different expectation of marriages and it's, it's crazy how it is not in alignment it is clashing and then we can see why we will say a lot of marriages are not lasting because me i am coming to say i'm i, I'm, I want a very loving caring husband my husband is there thinking i'm a very traditional man submit to me submit to me so what am i getting back for that submission because really i can't just be given without getting back and men thinks they have options you can it's just so many biases that i believe women don't want to keep up with uh for me i believe in love i believe in submission i believe in mutual respect i believe in loving and caring for each other i believe in um partnership i believe in all of that i believe that man is the head of the family i believe that now being a head does not mean you have to be you know lording it over all of them it's just like two good air that we just have to put to one to be directing it and when you being the air does not mean you cannot get uh advice or direction from your wife like uh opinion does not matter no i don't believe in that and that is part of you know submission like submit your life to me what are you doing with my life after submitting it to you did you care so much about my life after giving it to you what did you want to do with it can i can can i trust that you will not mismanage my life you will not mismanage my submission can, are, are you built for that because it's not it's just way beyond submit 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 get out <laughs> i have come to the end of this video i hope i'm not going to get a lot of backlash but if you listen to my words very carefully i don't think there's anything you should disagree with me on but if there's any disagreement that is fine it is welcome drop your comments let me know and i will see you in my next video thank you so much bye